Hey guys, I'm Phil in the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Metal Slug 4. We're on the fourth mission. I've been doing really badly. That's okay. And I'm gonna continue doing really badly. That's okay. Uh, the, what I like about the Metal Slug games, it's... I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's better to be really good at them than not good at them. Um, holy crap. Oh, frig. Um, I just like playing them. They're just a lot of fun. They're, they're just fun to, to look at and just to play. I don't care that I'm not that good at them. Oh my god. Uh, this is also where the game gets a little more ridiculous. Uh, most Metal Slug games start off pretty... not I, I guess realistic is a good word for it. Um, but you know what I mean, like, like it, it's it's clearly like like World War II kind of, or World War III or whatever. Um, especially like the first one, it's like, a, a lot of it is a little more realistic than the, the later games. I'm going to go up. Um, but in the later games, they start getting a little crazy. Like right now, this is all zombie territory, believe it or not. And it's hilarious, um, but yeah, like, all the Metal Slug games have, like, aliens and other things. If I had gone down instead of up, I'd be fighting... Just one second. Ooh, that's killer on my... on my, uh, thumb. Um, if I went down, I'd be fighting mummies, and it'd be, like, an Egyptian thing. It's, it's hilarious how much stuff they put in them all. Oh, crap. Now that I get hit by the zombie, I'm a zombie. And my special move is I vomit blood, so let's do that. Love that. It's a great game. Uh, the good thing is, too, if I get that little health bag, I turn back into human. So despite the fact that I did get hit, I actually didn't die. Whew. Zombies take a lot of hits, too. I love how they're just kind of all coming down, even though they know I'm shooting them. Oh my god, so many hits. Ah, oh, flame shot is awesome for zombies. As you can probably guess. Oh, but it doesn't matter now, because now I'm a zombie again. And that sucks. Uh, can I even get that guy? No, I can't even get him from here. Yeah, I must say, I'm, about to, I'm gonna die. There we go. I want to go down here, though. There we are. I'm going to need a better weapon. This is not helping me out. Oh, there we go. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, my uh, my vomit thing is good range, at least. Oh, God. That guy just killed himself. That's awesome. Well, I'm dead. Come on, don't leave me heavy machine gun. Good, 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 good. No, 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 no. Good. Shit. Oh, I can just leave. Well then. Here's the boss for World 4. Crazy. Uh, I actually find it, it's probably the, the easiest boss in the game. That being said, I'm still gonna get, I'm still gonna, yeah, I'm still gonna die. You'll see what I mean when I get it down to uh, a little later. Okay, there we go. Almost dead. Well, not really, but... Wow, really not paying attention there. It's pretty much just, like, move. There we go. Now it becomes just easy. All it'll do is shoot these little balloons at you, which are easy to avoid, and gigantic missiles, which you can ride on, and then guys will pour out, and that's it. That's the entire boss, believe it or not. Aw, oh, damn. I can't get that, though. So it does take a while because he takes a lot of hits, but uh, it's not difficult, and I find that really odd. Oh dang it. Oh, it just turns you into a zombie. Okay, well, still gonna die, but whatever. Because I can't move nearly as well. Yeah, there you go. Wow, to be honest, this is one of my worst runs on this boss. This has been awful. 
There, he's already dead. Ugh, I can't believe I died so many times there, though. But yeah, uh, easiest boss in the game, despite the fact that I died, I think, three times, which is just pathetic. Two levels left. Uh, and they don't get any, like, like really longer. And yeah, I have no idea why there's, like, pirates and stuff. These guys kill you really easily. Uh, just them running into you with their knives sometimes can kill you. So you gotta be just, like, super, super careful. Rocket launcher. Woo! Uh, just like the regular pistol, shooting while crouching uh, makes it so much faster, as you can see, like, for, like, that one second I was doing there. Ah, damn it. But if I get another rocket kind of thing, uh, I'll show you. I want to go down this time. Let's go down. Whee! But yeah, uh, one of the one of the ways to like do a speed run for for Metal Slug is to just uh, get through the level alive. Obviously, uh, don't use your grenades until the boss, and then just wail on the boss with grenades. Uh, and you can go faster with the the shooting of grenades by ducking as well. So you can just unload them all on a boss and kill it within seconds. It's hilarious. Uh, I might put up my Metal Slug X speed run on the on the site. I'm not sure yet. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, I saw that coming. Free. Nice, okay. The super grenade, I think anyways, is the most powerful weapon in Metal Slug. So I like want to conserve it, so I'm gonna like melee these guys instead. Aw, oh, dang it. Cause you only get like, I've only got nine left, so you only get like 15, 20. I have nine, so hopefully there'll be a, some sort of thing I can use it on. Nope, just a bunch of guys. There we go, they're all gone. I want the shotgun though, I love the shotgun. Ah, frig. Whoops. I hate this area. It's really, really, really easy to fall down there. If you're not careful, and I'm not careful. Oh, I was doing surprisingly well there, too. There we go. Holy crap. Oh, one more. Ah, oh, frig. Come on. Shit, shit. Whoa, that was close. There we go. Alright, I think I'm about the boss now. Uh, yeah. This boss is simple in theory, but I, I can't get the trick for it. Um, but I've seen techniques on this boss, and he, he doesn't look hard at all if you know what you're doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I think you all know that by now, that I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, well, I'm not also not paying attention to the bullets, or the uh, bombs that they're shooting at me. So that doesn't help.
When you see the gunner do that, it means this thing is going to fall. I want to get up here. And you can see the, the blimp in the background is going to start shooting stuff. And you pretty much just... Uh, oh my god, I can't believe that didn't hit me. And you just kind of do this. Holy crap. Uh, I'm not... Oh my god. And then you just go back and do what I was doing. So yeah, in theory, it's not hard. I mean, I only died once. That's not bad. Uh, definitely the best boss I've done so far. Woo! And I think we're on the last level now. So hooray. Uh, by the way, if you haven't played um, any of the Metal Slug games, Metal Slug Anthology uh, is available for the PS2, the Wii, and the PSP. Uh, the PSP version is super easy to find for like ten dollars. Pick it up, man. It's the first six Metal Slug games, so it's totally worth getting. Um, but yeah, they're they're all really good. Damn it. So yeah, um, if you like Contra style games, there's no reason that you haven't played this game already. If you haven't, anyways. Oh, I hate the drop shot. Drop shot's terrible. Oh, shotgun. I want shotgun. I'm dead. Come here. Yay. Love the shotgun. Now watch me die and, like, lose it, I bet. Oh, God. Uh, why can I only move left so slowly? Oh, left and right, yeah, it's super slow. And up and down is, like, super fast. That doesn't help me. There we go. Oh, another thing. Uh, the music is so good. It's a shame that you can barely hear it uh, through all the sound effects. And you can't change... Um, you can't change, like, the sound effect volume, which is bullshit, really. Because I'd love to be able to hear more of the music. Uh. There we go. Woo! Doing okay, doing okay. Last level's not super long. Um, especially not compared to, like, um, Metal Slug 3. Metal Slug 3 has a ridiculously long last level. Oh, crap. And now I'm a monkey. Yeah, really odd game sometimes, but I love it. And I'm so slow as a monkey. I'm not even sure if you can turn back into a human. Oh, well, I, you can if you die. So, there we go. Oh, damn it. Come on. Holy crap, so much on screen. Aw, oh, that didn't hit me, come on. Some grenades. Hopefully I'll get a chance to use them. There we go. There's a bit of a plot twist that's coming up. Uh, if you're just playing the game for fun, you're not going to notice it. Especially if you don't follow, like, whatever you can call the story of this series is. Um, I'll bring it up when I see it. There we go. Um, come on, where is it? Probably right here. Well, I'm doing decent right now. There he is. 
uh, that guy right there, that was Morden, the villain. But turns out he's like just like a robot. So that was like the plot twist, I guess. Um, that Morden is actually not like the final boss villain. So I guess we might have killed him in, in number three. I have no idea. Uh, definitely want to get this. Yay, tank. All right. Um, so yeah, it, it like turns out that he's just like a robot this time all along, which is a little odd. But whatever, I mean, it's a cartoony series. Oh, I love these tanks. I love the Metal Slug. You're so invincible when you're in it. There's another uh, Morden right there. So I want to get... How do I get out of this thing? There we go. Uh, don't shoot this, because then you can't get this guy up here. Who calls in his goons or whatever, and they give you a bunch of stuff. And now we can go back in and keep going. Hooray. Um, right here... Ah, uh, crap. I can't take the metal slug with me. Right here is the classic uh, fight with Alan. I think his name's Alan. Alan McDonald. Something like that. Um, he's in almost every Metal Slug. He's ridiculously difficult. I like to just kind of stay underneath him. I barely hit him, though. And there we go. He's dead, but he's not really. It's because he's a cyborg, too, for some reason. Ah, oh, crap. Really enough, that didn't kill me. Uh, yeah, you just stay underneath him. He just kind of throws grenades around. does take a few hits. Yeah, but he comes down and pistol whips you. It doesn't kill you, which is odd. While he's here? Uh, no, that didn't kill me either. Wow, that's weird. Huh, that's really odd. Finally, a boss where I didn't die. Um, yeah, get his, uh, his uh, heavy machine gun. And we're now at the final boss. Um... The final boss is a huge letdown compared to other final bosses in Metal Slug. I don't want to really spoil what goes on in the other Metal Slug games, but Le uh, Metal Slug X and Metal Slug 3 have ridiculous last battles, and this is not nearly as good. But whatever. You just stay here, to be honest. Crap, and now I've got nothing but my pistol. And there we go. That one's dead. That's not the only one, of course. We got this one over here. Just gotta be really careful. There we go. It'd be so much easier if I had more weapons, though. This one gets a little harder, though, as you'll see in a second. Right here. Oh, I got the enemy chaser. That's nice. Oh, but now there's a huge butt saw. Ah, oh, damn it. It's doing really good, though. That loads me up with uh, grenades when I die, though, so... Holy crap, my thumbs. And that's still not it, obviously. Um, but if, even up to this point, it's been really underwhelming, but now I'm going to die. A lot. This guy has so much life. Ah, oh, damn it. 
I think I'll get like two game overs. Not counting the uh, counting the one I'm about to get. Oh, okay. No, okay. Two more game overs. That's probably what I'll beat them. I'm just really bad at this specific part. There we go. Uh, damn it. Okay, so you gotta like jump over that, but you can't hit the lasers. It's like ridiculous. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, frig. Alright, can I get it within... Oh, yes I can, okay. Wow. Um, there we go, That that's the final boss. And believe it or not, I know I did really poorly here. And I hope you guys didn't watch this, hoping for like a really great playthrough. Um, but this was way better than I did last, uh, last night. I hope anyways, it felt like it was better. This is super easy, there's no enemies, just keep going. Waste all my ammo. Just for fun. Oh, cool. That's it. And that, yeah, that is the entire game. And I find that to be such a disappointing last boss. Uh, compared to what you see in, in, in other Metal Slug games. Which are just insanely epic. Just, whoa, it's just awesome. Awesome stuff. Whatever, it's still fun. Um, again, this was... Most people consider this to be the worst Metal Slug game. Um, to them... Oh, 15. Nice. Because, um, yeah, I... I, I whoop. Uh, yeah, last night my test run was 22 game overs. So that's, that's a lot better. And it was uh, 39 minutes. So, hey, there we go. Much better with that, too. Nice. Anyways, people who say that this is the worst Metal Slug game have not played Metal Slug 3D, uh, which is awful. Just absolutely terrible. Um, and to be honest, I think Metal Slug 5 is a lot worse than this one. Uh, Metal Slug 5 is super generic. Um, bit of a history lesson. Metal Slug is made by the old company SNK. Uh, they were... They went bankrupt and... Um, yeah, they went bankrupt and were bought by, I think, Playmore, and they became SNK Playmore. Uh, Metal Slug 4 was the last game made under SNK's label. Uh, after that, it was all made by SNK Playmore. And you can really see everything after that kind of goes downhill. Uh, though Metal Slug 6 was okay, and I still haven't played Metal, Metal Slug 7, despite the fact that I own it for the DS. Um, but Metal Slug 5 is super, super generic. Um, it's so boring. Okay, I guess it's not boring. I mean, it's still fun to play. It doesn't have the personality and charm that that Metal Slug 1 through 4 did. And even 4 didn't even have that, that much compared to uh, X and 3. X and 3 are by far the best Metal Slug games. Um, Metal Slug X is kind of like a, a an upgraded version of Metal Slug 2. Kind of. Metal Slug 1 is awesome, though, too. Um, I have a soft spot for Metal Slug 1 just because I, I could play the original arcade at, uh, at the bowling alley. Uh, Metal Slug 1 and X are the ones I'm much better at. Uh, I have beaten both of them on numerous occasions on, on a single life. Um, so, like, one quarter, I guess you could say. That is a long time ago. That was way back in, like, 2005, 2006. So I, I highly doubt I could do it now. I still think I could do decent, though. I, I'd probably be able to beat both of them in under, like, five continues. Uh, just because the whole game I've memorized so well. Uh, and that's really what it comes down to when you play these type of arcade games. It's all memorization. And Metal Slug 4 is, is one I'm not super familiar with compared to the other ones. So, yeah. Um, yeah, sorry about this kind of uh, short Let's Play uh, before, like, what I really wanted to do. But thanks for sticking around, guys. I really appreciate it. And, uh... Hopefully, next time will be that game I was talking about. The big, big Let's Play I wanted to do. And with that, that's the end of Metal Slug 4. And I'll see you guys next time on whatever it is I do. I'm Phil the Blanks. Take care, guys.
So yeah, thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, check out my other content on my YouTube channel, where you can find Let's Plays, speedruns, and reviews of other games. See ya!